Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Stacey Angabretson. Students returned to Oshkosh West High School Friday, three days after a 16-year-old allegedly stabbed school resource officer Michael Wissink. Police say Wissink then shot the boy who's now in jail awaiting charges. Students returning to the classroom Friday saw increased patrols at the school. Superintendent Vicki Cartwright says extra resources were also available to support the students and staff so they feel safe and comfortable coming back to West. Cartwright says Officer Wissink is on the road to recovery and his concern is with everyone else affected by the incident. Appleton police are searching for an armed robber who held up the Marathon gas station on the 1900 block of East Wisconsin Avenue. They say just after 9 o'clock Thursday, the suspect showed a knife to the clerk, demanded money, and fled the store. The suspect was wearing all black, including a mask. No injuries were reported. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is investigating an adenovirus outbreak on three college campuses. They say multiple cases of the respiratory illness have been reported at UW Oshkosh, UW Madison, and UW La Crosse. The state health officer says the virus spreads easily, so places like college campuses where large groups gather are especially vulnerable. Signs of infection include having cold and flu-like symptoms, diarrhea, and pink eye. In rare cases, the virus can lead to pneumonia or death. Health experts say the best way to prevent the spread of the virus is to wash your hands often and cover sneezes and coughs. Let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. Stacy, lots of sunshine to wrap up the work week and colder temperatures. Highs this afternoon only in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Most of the work week we have been in the 30s to around 40, but we are going to warm back up again. You can see temperatures in the 30s and 40s just to our south and west. That's going to overspread Wisconsin here as we head through tomorrow and Sunday. We're going to see clouds mixing with sunshine on Saturday. High temperatures mainly in the mid 30s. On Sunday, lots of clouds, 30s to around 40 with maybe a little drizzle or a couple of sprinkles, and then things get much more interesting as we head in the next week. Accumulating snow on Monday and then frigid temperatures coming in for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For your very latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC26 News app. It's free. It is available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great weekend.